Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, What are they saying to their closest friends about you? But before we get started, I'd just like to say really quickly that if you like this kind of reading and you would like for me to make more of them, please give my video a thumbs up so I know that you do. Also, it really helps out my channel. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. Also, in the video description is where you'll find your timestamps. So this is going to be stone number one with the Labradorite, um, stone number two with the Rose Quartz, stone number three with the Lapis Lazuli, and stone number four with the Amethyst. So you can go ahead and take as long as you need and pause the video if you have to, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and find out what they've been saying to their closest friends about you. All right, so here we have the cards for pile number one with the Labradorite. And let's go ahead and find out what this person's been saying to you, your friends about you. All right, so first we have painting the roses red. Then we have disquiet. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The King of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, we have Stabbed in the back. Clarifying the King of Wands, we have Healing Heart. Clarifying the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, we have Healthy Choices. Clarifying Stabbed in the back, we have Kicking It. Clarifying Healing Heart, we have Stork. Clarifying healthy choices, we have why. And then I have these cards, which I'm going to do at the end. All right, so, which will tell me more actually. All right, so what have they been saying about you to their closest friends? You know, it's kind of like they're saying something kind of negative, but it's like they're saying something good too. I feel like that the conversation is kind of like where they're saying like before you like you made a lot of mistakes and you're trying to make up for them. But also I'm feeling like, you know, for some of you, you might have been in an abusive relationship or situation or something like that. Not for it doesn't have to be romantic. It could have been from childhood or something like that. I feel like that, it's like it, it, they would say like, this isn't going to be for everybody, but maybe you learn the behavior from your childhood. But I feel like it's saying, they're saying that you're making up for past mistakes that you made. With the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, you've had like, for some of you, you may have even been at one point deceptive or something like that, or even attacking with the Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse is about making unhealthy choices or being cautious. But I feel like that you did have, they're saying that you did have unhealthy choices that you made. And then, then that like, especially if it's something to do, like if you had an addiction or something that you're kicking the addiction. But either way, whatever it is that you were doing that was negative, it's saying that you're in control and that you're really, that you're really driven, that you're kicking bad habits, you know, and you're accomplishing your goals. One thing, another thing they're saying is that now you're way more authentic than you used to be. I feel like they're saying that you're a better person than you used to be. saying that 
you're he you've been healing from heartbreak and maybe even be getting becoming free from some kind of toxic situation, toxic relationship or addiction or something. For some, they might be saying that you're pregnant if you are pregnant. If you're not pregnant, then that's not what they're saying, obviously. But that that there's good news coming towards you and there's some kind of inspiration. They also, ins yeah, it, you inspire. You're inspiring to them how you're able to overcome these things. But for some, I am feeling there could be also things that you're overcoming. Maybe your children helped make helped you overcome it if you have children. Something like that. Because, yeah. I feel like the children might have helped. But also, I'm feeling like it's saying that you're, you're healing from past childhood wounds. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is about wanting to become more, more independent. You know, more self-sufficient. And they're saying that you want to be... You want to make healthy choices. You want to become more independent. You're trying to be more self-sufficient. I'm trying to focus on the solution rather than the actual problem. Let's see, what else are they saying? All right, so we have wall, hammock, older woman, money path, Frying pan and valley. They are saying that they really believe that you're going to succeed, at, and they they feel like they misunderstood you. That there could have been an older woman here who had who caused a lot of trouble, caused mental trouble. Um, had like accusations and stuff but through that you have gained deep personal strength and peace that actually assures your success and that is saying that with a, a saying right here a path with money is waiting for you to find it but yeah they feel like they misunderstood you Anyways, that's all I have for pile number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead now and move on to pile number two. All right, so here we have the cards for pile number two with the rose quartz. And let's go ahead and find out what your person's been saying to their close friends about you. All right, first we have follow your own good advice. Then we have patronage. Then we have the magician. Oh yeah, I like this pile. Then we have the king of cups. Then we have the eight of swords in the reverse. Clarifying the magician, we have clock. Clarifying the king of cups, we have photograph. Clarifying the Eight of Swords and the reverse, we have Coffin. Clarifying Clock, we have Siren. Clarifying Photograph, we have Proposal. Clarifying Coffin, we have the Unsaid. Then I have these cards, which I'm going to read after. All right, so what has your person been saying about you? To their closest friends. So you know whatever they're saying is going to be pretty sincere. They say that you're somebody who is really giving. You're very loving. You're very giving person. 
I like this one because they say lots of nice things. <laughs> they say that you give awesome advice. And with following your own good advice, I feel like that they have. You know what is best for you that you know and you trust yourself. You know what's best for you and you trust yourself and you follow your own advice. But also I'm picking up that you give really good advice. And I feel like you help a lot of people doing that. With patronage, I feel like you have, I feel like they might be saying that you have a lot of people who support you and that, and they support you in maybe, maybe you have a job where you give advice or something like that, maybe a therapist or something for some of you. Some kind of <clears throat> job maybe that you do that where you give advice for some of you. Either way, you give really good advice and it's saying that you're very giving and then people are very giving to you in return. You're very nurturing. Also, they say um, with the magician that you're really good at manifesting the things that you want in your life. And when it comes to the things that you want, it's only a matter of time until you do it. They also say that you're very, they could, it depends on what kind of reading it is, but they find you very enticing, mysterious, seductive, and alluring. As I feel like that's like something to do with what you're manifesting as well. But it seems like you're very good at getting what you want and it only takes a matter of time. This person has Okay, I'm trying to figure out the photograph. I feel like they might have been they might be looking at your social media or they're saying that you're looking at your your they're you're on their social media a lot. I'm not saying like creeping or anything, but like maybe you comment or something like that or like their stuff. They find you to be really um, emotionally wise. Someone who's very loving and again, giving. And they really want, they really like or want to surprise you with a gift. It could be like a gift or want to do things to move things to the next level with you. The Eight of Swords is awesome when it's in the reverse because it means that you're releasing something that you've been up in your head about. So it's saying, I feel like they would be saying like you're getting over something or letting go of something, some kind of past trauma or hurt. That you're starting to release yourself. It could be from a lot of things. It could be like, it could be from just being up in your head. It could be. It's like liberation. This coffin card is saying like liberation. Like endings bring new beginnings. I feel like they might be saying that maybe you're there's like an ending of some kind of relationship. Maybe it's a relationship that they're in or maybe a relationship that you're in. There could be there, but they feel like they're, they're saying that there there's growth and there's going to be change. There's definitely a transition going on. And they may have said that they love you to this person. They might have told this person that you love them, but said that you have not said it yet. You love them, but you haven't told them yet that you love them. That they love you. I mean, yeah. They say, I love this person, but I haven't told him or her yet. Didn't say it yet. But they want to show you that how much they love you. All right, we have ink pot. <clears throat> we have fox. Pig. Needle and thread. Bear. I'm probably gonna mess up the cards underneath, but we don't. It doesn't matter. Then we have bat. All right, so here's a little bit more. This is a little bit more on the darker side. So they do say there's some kind of problems that need to be resolved in relation to you. It might not be that you have to resolve them. Maybe there's some kind of problem they have in relation to you that they need to be, they need to resolve or that you need to resolve. There's something, there's some kind of problems that need to be resolved. It's saying that a sincere wish will be granted. It 
and they, they might say that you're very shrewd not in a bad way and like you're and resourceful especially like in business and where and whereas you're usually able to tell when people are being greedy because the pig says beware of greed and especially and like you can you're able to like part of this this wish that's granted is being this shrewdness being able to recognize this fox card is also about self-care taking care of yourself and being shrewd like watching out for yourself and it's saying you're you're able to actually like I feel like it's saying that you're able to point out when there's danger especially like in money matters and it's like they like you know Anyway, it's like there's something negative. There's some negative things that are happening in relation to, in relation to what's going on with you guys. It says, take care. Enemies are working against you. So I don't feel like it's between you and this other person, but there could be somebody else who is selfish or greedy or really wanting something for themselves. But I feel like it will be worked out. It will be resolved. But it is saying that take care. Enemies are working against you. So I'm really feeling like, they might be saying that some people, some things are been working against you or people have been working against you. And working against maybe the situation between the both of you. Anyways, that's all I have for pile number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to pile number three. All right, so here we have the cards for pile number three with the Lapis Lazuli. And let's go ahead and find out what your person's been saying about you to their closest friends. All right, so first we have Mortality. <clears throat> then we have Distractions. Then we have the Six of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Chariot. Clarifying the Six of Swords, we have Seduction. Clarifying the Four of Cups, we have I Like You. Clarifying the Chariot, we have the Grim Reaper. Clarifying Seduction, we have Skater Girl. Clarifying I Like You, we have Friendship. Clarifying the Grim Reaper, we have Wicked. Then I have these cards, which I will be reading at the end. All right. There's like a mixture of things. There's a lot of different things I feel like that they're saying. I got a really... I feel like it, one thing that they might be saying is that... You're like really good friends and that you are a really good friend to people. Right now, I feel like they're taking time out to contemplate how they feel about you. They they really like you. And right now you might be friends, but they might want to do something. They might want to date. With a six of swords, I feel like there's someone like, they, I feel like they might be saying that you're moving away from or they're moving away from something and they're really attracted to you and they want to start dating you I feel like there could be like a situation, a third party situation in this reading. So I feel like that they might want to date and then if they did, they might want to do like an outdoor date or something. They might also say that you're very, you kind of quickly adapt to things. But that you're a true friend. And you're really authentic and you would do any that 
you would do anything for them and you're always there for them no matter what. The chariot, I feel like that, again, I feel like there's some kind of like moving away from something. They might be saying that they're moving away or you're moving away from like a third party situation. And they're, and either you or them are growing and transforming your lives. And that the person that is being moved away from is someone who is kind of not very, like not a very good person to be around. Like... Um, with the Wicked card, we have, it says, naughty, harmful, dangerous, false portrayal, lie, cheat, and beware. Also, you may have warned them or something about the person that they're with. All right, so we have mortality, life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. So I'm really feeling like what they're saying is that Like you're somebody who who appreciates your life, appreciates that like you're not gonna live forever. You don't take things for granted. You don't take your life for granted. You don't take your time for granted. Also, I feel like they might be saying that you've been distracted lately. Maybe even distracted by an ongoing chess game that's been going on with, with, with you guys. See how she's sitting there and she's fretting with her hands and things are going on around her. I feel like they might say that you worry a lot about the thing about other people or that you care a lot about other people and you want what's best for everyone. All right, let's see what this card say. We have Tinkered, Fire, Lion, Pin, Ring, ooh, and Cobweb. <sighs> they are probably saying that they really love you. That or they hate you, but I doubt that. If they have really strong emotions for you, they're not saying they let, they hate you. They like you. It says right here. <laughs> All right. It says passion, love, or hate, but it's obviously love right now. They have extremely strong emotions towards you, and they might want to be taking some kind of action soon. Right here, lion, time to act. <sighs> Tinkered, I feel like it's saying celebration, fun, enjoyment. They just really enjoy being around you. They might want to actually work with you with the new job career. You might actually already work with this person, but I feel like they feel like it's time to act and what they're feeling like their time, time, what they're wanting to act on is maybe like some kind of a marriage. It says a marriage will take place either romantic or business. I mean, they could want to work with you as well, but I feel like they want to maybe work with you and, and, um, have a romantic relationship. Again, it's down to like wanting to, I feel like they're wanting to take the relationship to the next level. Then we have cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. They might say that you're protected from negative forces beyond your control, maybe even by something now, they could say that you're protective or they're protective of you, but also I'm feeling like they might feel like you're protected, maybe from angels or something like that. Anyways, that's all I have for pile number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and now move on to pile number four. All right, so here we have the cards for pile number four with the amethyst. 
and let's go ahead and find out what your person has been telling their closest friends about you. So we have all must have prizes. Then we have innocent. Then we have the five of cups in the reverse. Then we have the six of cups. And we have the three of cups in the reverse. Oh, clarifying the five of cups in the reverse, we have world talk. Clarifying the six of cups, we have heart with a key. Clarifying the three of cups in the reverse, we have hand of cards. Clarifying girl talk, we have team awesome. Heart with clarifying heart with key, we have meow. And clarifying hand of cards, we have glam it up. And these cards I will read at the end. <clears throat> so what they're saying about you is that you try too hard to please everyone. And that you're very innocent. And maybe they, they might say like you're naive, but I feel like they mostly say that you're innocent. And like you innocently, you know, try to do things to help other people. And do things to make them happy. But the Six of Cups, is, I feel like it's saying that you're very kind. But it's not like you're just kind. I feel like that there's a situation with some friends. <clears throat> maybe childhood friends friends that you've known for a long time they're saying that they might be saying that, like that you're being pressured you're being peer pressured or you're doing too much partying or something overall they feel like that you are someone who is very sweet you have a big heart and they they would like to get together they actually find you to be like kind of perfect in some ways and they also say that you're trying to fit in and you kind of model yourself after others But also it's saying that you've been peer pressured or they feel like you've been being, being peer pressured into taking risks, maybe unnecessary risks. <clears throat> Some of you, it may be just like harmless things that aren't really illegal, but so I'm picking up that some they might be feeling like you're doing illegal things and taking risks with that. I'm feeling like some of you are they're they're talking about going out doing risky things maybe drinking going out maybe they think that you're drinking driving not that this is gonna be for everybody <clears throat> this is only for some people but you're kind of being more edgy hmm I know they're talking about people and they're talking about your friends and how they're influencing you all right, so we have bow, we have vase, and we have younger woman, wheel, mice, and bull. All right, so they think very highly of you, and they might feel like they're they might they might know someone who is like a secret admirer of yours or you they might think that you're a secret admirer or they're a secret admirer to you they do feel you're kind of indecisive and you kind of allow your life to ramble aimlessly 
and you have some discord around your friends or family, I feel like it's more the friends, <clears throat> but you're not someone who backs down from opposition. You show strength and fortitude. So it looks like there's some kind of situation they're talking about with your friends um, and how people are influencing you, but mostly that you're innocent and that you're doing these things to kind of try to fit in and stuff like that and feeling pressured. Anyways, that's all I have for pile number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.